much, Mr. Alcon. All right, so the PowerPoint presentation is quite loaded, right? It's almost like a practical manual to doing 5S. <laughs> so we would just like to inform everyone that uh, to facilitate learning during this session, uh, our secretariat will send um, copies of the PowerPoints later. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yon. So, makakapakilig na tayo ng mabuting lahat. Yeah. So, for rather to move forward with our discussion, let me introduce to you our second speaker, Mr. Abdul Hamid Gadi C. Alawi Jr. Mr. Alawi finished his bachelor's degree in commerce, major in economics from the University of Santo Tomas, where he was also awarded as one of the 10 outstanding economics graduate of 2001. He earned his units in Bachelor of Law and Sharia at the Mindanao State University, College of Law in Marawi City. Units in Bachelor of Law at the Arellano University School of Law and the degree of Bachelor of Law at the Lacson College Philippine Law School. Our second speaker for today is presently the Chief Administrative Officer of the Records Division of Office of the Regional Governor of the Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao. He is well-trained and experienced on the concepts and applications of 5S through attending extensive trainings conducted by the DAP and subsequently implementing the acquired knowledge and skills at ARMM. He presently leads the 5S program of the ARMM. This morning, he describes to us the successful implementation of this productivity improvement tool in the region and some of the tools they use in synthesizing results and formulating recommendations to improve the performance and compliance of agency to quality workplace standards. So to discuss on 5S as a productivity improvement tool, please welcome Mr. Abdul Hamid Alawi Jr. Good morning, everyone. Um, I miss a board now. Yung po yung full name ko. Medyo mahirap nga yung pronounce. No, but people call me Gadi. Na lang. And then sa Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google Plus, uh, yan yung ano ko. Uh, uh, yan yung handle. Opo. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna present 5F po as part, no? Actually, siya yung parang kick-off activity namin. Kick-off tool namin sa journey namin. Oh, wala. Okay, so parang uh, tinatawag namin siyang Kaizen Journey ngayon, no? Uh, or the Kaizen uh, Experience. Kaizen, of course, is um, 5 is one of the Kaizen tools na um, that brings about uh, continual improvement in an organization. Okay? So the outline of... Um, five points lang naman yung outline ko. Uh, try ko bilisan kasi medyo maraming slides. Um, I'm gonna share something about ARMM, no? Kasi baka yung basahin nyo medyo hindi pa masyadong familiar about ARM. The implementation standards that was given to us by DAP. Uh, the timeline of, uh, a short timeline of what we, uh, of the main things that happened in ARMM. The keys to our success and some video presentation po, no? Bilang papalam. <coughs> So, uh, about ARM, okay, uh, ito po yung, may mga ganyan po kami commercials, no? Uh, malinis ang hangarin dahil sa 5S. Okay, yun po yung sa mga events na. Um, ARMM is uh, down south, no? Kung sino, sino po mga taga Mindanao dito? Or nakapunta ng Mindanao? Yan. Down south po. Tapos kami po yung mga pulang area, uh, provinces. It's composed of five provinces, no? Basilan, Sulu, Tawi-Tawi. Uh, you have Lanao and you have Maguindanao. Okay? So, medyo malayo-layo po kami sa isa't isa, although usually nalalam kami. So, tinan nyo yung, uh, yung location ng Tawi-Tawi sa Lanao. It's quite far, no? 
And we're uh, we're uh, ethnolinguistic groups, no? Kapampangan, it's different from Ilocano, ganon. Uh, but we're uh, but we're all Filipinos, and then may mga shared uh, uh, religion, no? Sa amin po, ganon po. May mga Maranao, Maguindanao, Yakan, tawitawi, and then uh, we share uh, Islam as our religion. So may difference po ng uh, culture and religion, no? Yan po. So yan po yung geographical area namin. As for the structure, no? Um, para malit na rin po kami na uh, bansa, in a way, kasi autonomy nga. No? Uh, we have a legislative uh, body and executive body, the yung dilaw. Okay? Um, baka po malito kayo, never I'll be mentioning executive secretary, cabinet secretary. Sa office po ng regional governor, parang office of the president. No? Nandiyan na po yung executive secretary namin, cabinet secretary namin. And then the, the office is about 350 no? uh, officials and staff. No? Sa loob po ng office of the regional governor. The regional governor controls the devolved agencies. So wala po kami regional director sa, sa DILG, regional director ng DPWH, sa region namin. Wala po kami regional director. Meron po kami tinatawag na secretary ng DOH. So may sarili secretary po kami. Although far lower than the uh, SG grade secretary. And the thing is, ano po sila? Um, they're appointed by the regional governor. Yung mananalo yung regional governor. So regional governor, pag nanalo, mag-appoint sa executive secretary niya, cabinet secretary, and uh, usually this uh, chief of staff and then you have yung mga secretaries for his uh, or her DILG, DPWH, DOH, DepEd, no? Um, the leg regional legislative assembly, no? Dahil sa batas na gumawa sa ARMM, sa autonomy namin, um, gumagawa, pwede siyang gumawa ng mga look, ng mga uh, offices, no? For some, for, some, for some needs. Like, for example, we need an office for culture and history. Um, we created the Bureau of Cult The Regional Legislative Assembly passes an act similar to the Republic Acts that we have, no? creating the BCH or the Bureau of Cultural and History, the Regional Commission on Bangsamuro, Bangsamuro Women or the, the Women Office, and Regional Human Rights Commission and others. No? In total, mga umabot na po kaming 36, like 20 na devolve and like, uh, ano, plus 20, um, mga 16 na ano, locally created. So marami-rami na po. It's been existing for 25 years po. No? Um, ang difference lang po, devolve lang po, isa devolve, uh, devolution lang, may counting issue. That's why we have the Bangsamoro law right now. No? Papalitan daw yung ARM, uh, papalitan po kami ng ARMM, so makawawala po kami. No? Um, may mga counting issues sa de devolution, like for example, devolve man ang DPWH, or DPWH, hindi po lahat ng powers ng DPWH sa regions natin ay na meron din kami. Parang ganun. Uh, DOTC, for example, uh, ang LTO namin hindi pwede magpalisensya. Di ba? Parang income earning yun. Di ba? Wala po kaming hindi naka, nasa ano po yun. Kabila lang regions po. Region 9, 10, 12. No? Um, ang registration, ng, ang car registration sa amin hindi pwede. Parang wala pa kaming power noon. So parang any uh, three-wheeled vehicle at motorbikes pwede sa amin sa LTO namin. Pero pagdating sa kotse, mukhang nalabi ng uh, makalapit na agency na maritain sa kanila. So, parang medyo magulo kami yung ano, yung ano. There were, the, it was, uh, these, these issues were talked about in uh, uh, so much sa peace negotiations with the MILF. So, yun po, pinapasok po siya improvement para mas ma, mag, mag, mukhang maging autonomy talaga siya. No? That's the case of ARMF. Um, ano pa ba? yung issue ng block grant right sa DBM po no uh, ang tingin po sa amin ng karamihan ng DILG tingin sa amin ay isang malaking LGU pero pag tingnan kami ng DBM ang tingin sa amin ahensya lang kasi nagpo-propose din po kami sa DBM wala po kami fix na era so they're calling it block grant so yun po the, my my point is uh, gusto ko po iklaro yung uh, distinction ng office of the regional governor as a separate office that controls all other executive offices Okay? And meron din po sila mga offices sa mga provinces namin. <clears throat> so that's our office, the Office of the Regional Governor. Diyan po ako uh, Chief Admin sa records. Although may mga task ako like 5S. And then nandiyan po yung may office po kaming Office of the Executive Secretary, the Cabinet Secretary, may Chief of Staff po kaming sarili. And then meron kaming Finance, Technical, and Management Services. 
and other may library pa po. So those are just some of the uh, divisions and offices within the office of the regional governor that controls the other uh, agencies na na devolve sa amin or na create ng ARMM. Okay? Mag importante po yung mga pagdating sa mga activities namin. No? Um, medyo po, um, we know medyo sad yung story sa ARMM. Up until sa amin, in our, in our viewpoint, 2012 was the time that we tried, we started to improve. No? Uh, 2012 po, um, uh, yung naging regional governor at that time, 2012, uh, may natawag siyang reform framework governance, peace, security, and social services. <clears throat> ang masaya po, ang, ang saya-saya po ng event pag mga ganitong season, pag September budget hearing, whenever we report sa community, Senate Committee uh, on budget kay, uh, Sir, kay Senator Ping Lacson, maganda po yung kwento the, the, the reforms that have been happening since 2012, no, uh, have been so much na palagi pong ano, na, na, napupuri kami nila uh, ng mga, ano, mga senators on that. Like, to the point na si Senator Lacson, in, I, I'm not sure if it was in 20, 2016, uh, he said na parang, bakit yung idea ba na i-geotag lahat ng DPWH uh, gov, uh, offices? Nauna po kasi kami. Noong 2012, tinry na po yung geotag. Pagdating yung 2016, parang sabi niyo, lahat na lang ng uh, nation, nationwide na lang sana ang pag-geotag ng mga DPWH project infrastructure. So, things like that. no? Uh, marami pong um uh, uh, Mga nangyari, ghost busting, maraming parang 35,000 teachers na tanggal sa schools namin, pagupo ni boss. Um, uh, ARMM was being used smelting a cow. Parang minsan may connivance with uh, national agencies to para doon i ano, laundry so certain. Pero right now, we're, we're slowly improving. Sabi nga, continual improvement, kahit na increments. May mga ina-ice, ina-ice pa rin naman namin. No? Um, Panglima na po kami sa GTG G, sa, GD, sa GRDB, pang lima po ang ARMM ngayon sa Pilipinas. So, um, yung, yung part po ng uh, go governance initiatives, no? governance, uh, peace and security and services, 2014 po, may partnership ang JICA, DAP, and ARMM. No? Uh, there was a tra training package for origin agencies, no? quality management system, housekeeping, 5S procurement citizens charter. I think there are two more, and no? I failed to uh, remember. Uh, housekeeping po, ako po yung pinatend yan, so kailangan maging 5S vocal, kasi ako yung matend. <laughs> so, we have this uh, training and uh, coaching ko, Tabato City. No? Um, bumaba po ang DAP. No? Ito po yung mga 5S core teams sa iba't ibang uh, ahensya, no? as I've mentioned. And then, pinapunta rin po kami sa Manila. We went to five very uh, uh, ano, uh, very 5S compliant offices. No? Kasama po ang DAP. Um, pumunta po kami sa Marikina, pumunta po kami sa BCDA, Yazaki Torres, um, a private entity, and uh, Land Bank. And then, uh, one school, CEU, no? makita nyo hindi kailangan bagong, of, bagong organization para maging 5S compliant. No? So, we stayed here for five days. I think that room is this very room, no? wherein Ma'am Deding was with us. Um, yun. So, yun po yung naging history, uh, story kung bakit meron kaming 5S ngayon. No? Um, implementation standards po ang next. Si, Ma, si ate, one of our uh, utility workers, sorted out. Ito yung mga poster na mga pag-gimmicks namin. I'll explain later siguro. No? Sorted out my past with Seiri. <laughs> so, implementation standards, ito po yung uh, uh, iniwan sa amin ng DAP. Ito ang pabao namin. No? You must have preparations, management announcement, cleanup day, initial seri, daily seri, seton, say so, periodic 5S uh, audit. Uh, isa pa po sa hindi namin kinalimutan from the pan and hope na na-meet namin was everyone's participation is important, management to take leadership. We must record improvements no? uh, and device schemes to stimulate awareness and enthusiasm. Dapat palaging relevant ang 5S araw-araw. No? So uh, that that was our challenge from DAP. And then sabi rin ng DAP, no? Um, kung kayo kung magpa-5s din kayo, dapat may strong sponsorship and leadership of agency heads. You have must have a very very active promoter, good example by management. Dapat mag-audit po tayo, no? Kung sumusunod tayo. Ang 5s is document, gawa kayo ng pagkakasunduan yung quality standard, no? 
ito yung dapat sa tapos i-audit nyo ang bawat isa. No? Good documentation. Dapat may competitions para ano, um, uh, para on uh, people are on their feet no pagdating sa 5S kasi pangit pag dumarating report sa regional governor tayo yung office natin ang lasa 5S uh, turn the PDCA okay so we go on to the timeline um, the highlights of what has been happening in ARMM um, okay ang pagmamahal daw niya ay Satan compliant zero die on time um Timeline, 2014 was the day, no, sinabi ko may trainings, coaching, and observational trip uh, uh, sa Manila. May, we, ha, we have launched, backed up, by, all of this actually is back, are backed up by issuances. So may launch activity kami, uh, we'll, we'll see later. Nag-create, DAP asked us to create uh, core teams, no, so ORG and agencies. So yung ORG namin may sariling 5S core team. And then, dapat din ang bawat agency is my core team. Tapos, tin, yun yung team rain, no? Yung mga umatin sa training. So, anong office kayo? So, kayo na ang core team. Okay? Um, quality workplace standards. Pinagsulat po kami ng quality workplace standards, no? That's the planning part. Ito po ang mga standard na susundin namin. Okay? Uh, hard 5S and soft 5S na pangit naman ni sir, no? <coughs> and then, uh, may cleanup day kami. Uh, and then, Uh, may competition kami on 2014. So parang uh, ano kami, uh, hand ho uh, hand holding from DAP muna, no? Um, we were asked after the clean up day, ang daming kalat actually. Hindi lahat uh, hindi lahat uh, rosy from the start ng 5S magulo po. So that was the time naging intensive kami sa waste management policy namin. After the first clean up day, sir, ang daming daming kalat. Um Ito po yung 2014, ito yung cleanup day. That's the regional governor po, mapping. No? So, boss, saan kayo magmamap? Uh, madalas ako nagsasalita sa may flagpole. Imamap ko yan, sabi niya. Ito po yung chief of staff namin. Uh, ito po yung cabinet secretary namin that time. Ito yung deputy executive secretary namin. Mga ano lang naman. Mga, mga boss namin pinag, pinagmamap namin. No? Kasi that's how they are. No? And then, uh, sa 2014 po, Uh, lahat kami, pati yung office ko, kalaban din ng ibang offices na under sa amin, lahat kami binigyan ng award ni Ma'am Dedeng for our uh, for, for specific uh, competitions like oldest record found, no? Best post, uh, best um, kasi pag nagseri ka, dapat mahanap mo yung ano, mga ma ma sort out mo gano'n to katagal, no? Matinding uh, application ng NAP uh, issuances. And then Meron mga ano yan, maganda yung pagkasulat ng QWS and that's uh, Naoki Chi Ochiai from the, Jai, from Jaika, no? So pumunta po sila sa Cotabato, no less than Ma'am Deding po was uh, was there. Um, solid waste dahil nag clean up day kami, ano, naging uh, it was the first time pinasok namin. Uh, mamaya pag-usapan yung convergence, 5S is everywhere sa mga batas natin, no? So the first na nahanapin ng matining 5S, obviously solid waste management, but, but you'll see later. No? Um, dun po, 25, 2015 was the, the time na medyo nag, wala na ang DAP, so nag-assert ng office ko. So I, I, think, I think sabi ko, ayoko makipag-compete with the agencies. Gusto ko i-control sila, <laughs> actually. So since ako yung 5S ng uh, ORG, um, mahirap na lang, palagi na kami nagpapababa ng consultant. So kami, nag-training kami sa ORG ng matinde, and then we tried to be the leader of other core teams. So, yung core team ng uh, Office of the Regional Governor. Uh, ano. Tapos, um, kami sa ISO certification journey, importante ISO certification kasi if you if you know ISO 9001 follows the PDCA cycle, 5S follows the PDA cycle. Parang kinakasalan namin. Kaya right now, we are calling it Kaizen, Continual Improvement. If you apply Plan Do Check Act, no? uh, using 5S, Uh, using ISO 9001, using SPMS, di ba po? SPMS, no? Uh, lahat po yun, uh, ano, pinapackage namin isa as Kaizen, no, sa ARMM. Um, Nag-start na rin kami mag-5S audit. So kami, sa yung core group namin, dalawa na ngayon na minamanage, yung sa 5S core team ng Office of the Regional Government in 2015. Ino-audit namin yung mga offices under Uh, the office of the regional governor at the same time uh, lini, ano namin uh, ginagabayan namin yung mga ibang ahensya yung 5S core team nila na mag-cascade 
at implement yung nasulat nilang QWS, yung tinulong kami ng Development Academy of the Philippines. Yes. Ay, hindi po. Regional offices po. Good question. Uh, regional... Ay, hindi po. Alin po yung sa agencies? Agencies po. About agency po. So, meron pong regional office. For example, ang DOH, ang, ang regional office niya, kumbaga dito yung central office ng DOH, for example, yung DOH namin, sila ang agency may core team. no? Now, it's up to the core team kung dadalin nila sa province ang application ng 5S. Kasi pwede namang sa regional office lang naman nila. Okay, so malamang sa Cotabato lang, no? Uh, for most of them, Cotabato, but may mga agencies na binaba sa mga provincial offices nila. Uh, hindi pa, depende po sa ehensya. Depende po. I think DPWH is um, the Polyok Free um, uh, Regional uh, Ports Management Authority namin nag apply ata sa mga provincial office. For that, they, they, they get credits pagdating sa audit. Wow, okay kayo ha. May provincial application ng 5S. Eh, nagsimula pa lang tayo sa regional offices. No? So, uh, it doesn't follow po na kasama yung mga provincial offices namin. No? Kasi di ba ang structure po, DOH, tapos may mga hospital, and then may mga regional health units sila, and then meron silang uh, offices, or DepEd namin, meron silang um, mga regional um, offices. No? Um, it doesn't follow po na binaba nila ang 5S. Sa amin, ang pinakoncern namin ay in at the least regional offices no yung nasa Cotabato po however marami pong plus factor sa kanila sa audit kung binabababa nila sa or may, may extra award pag binaba nila sa ano sa provinces opo for most of it no ARM sa ibang agency po opo ibang agency RPMA no Ang DepEd nag-clean up di ata siya sa lahat ng offices sa schools nila. No, I don't know if it was sustained, no. So, um, regional offices po ang 5S ngayon, no? Um, by uh, na mandatory. Kota Bata City ba? Opo, opo, opo. So, kung ma i-try niyo po visit yung offices, yung mga ports namin kumalinis para sa inyo. Sana malinis. <laughs> Opo, regional, uh, may kasi may RPMA, Regional Ports Management Authority. So, meron po kaming port sa Lamitan, may port po kami sa uh, Polyok, no? in Parang, Maguindanao, may port po kami sa, uh, sa Tawi-Tawi, and Basilan po, mga dalawa, or tatlo. So, dapat po malinis kasi RPMA, uh, as we know, is nag-apply ng 5S sa areas nila. Okay, 2016 po. Um, 2016, ito po yung time na since 2015 parang pina, pinahinog namin ng application ng quality workplace standards. We understand na 5S is hindi agad-agad. 2016 was the first time that we audited agencies, the regional offices. No? Um, uh, we would have wanted it na ano, uh, pumasok siya sa ano, uh, punta sa provinces, pero hindi po talaga sa Cotabato lang po. No? Uh, 2016 din po linaunch namin, no? Kasi awareness in 5S and yung pag-absorb ba ng, ano, uh, ng concepts medyo may kasi foreign. Uh, we, we tried launching Kaizen as a promotional gimmick, no? For them. You'll see that may mga publication naman po kayo. And then, archive day kasi importante po ang um, electronic records namin, yung sorting. The use of, the proper use of electronic records side by side with the hard copies. Paano yun? Alin ang electronic na lang? Alin ang hard copy? So, uh, nag, sa Archive Day, meron po kami nahanap uh, sa National Archives Act. Considered po na September October 21 at 23 is the National Archives Day. Ideally, every government office ay may Archive Day gimmick. Nahanap po namin. So, medyo na uh, it's one of the 5S uh, initiative that we know. No? Mahilig po kami maghanap sa mga existing na batas kung anong 5S na pwedeng ipromote. Kasi may dagdag palo eh. Kasi gover batas siya na dapat ideally sinusunod, no? Ito, ito. 
M po yung uh, Archives Day poster namin, no? October 21. Enhanced Archiving and Document Management. Good deal progress bang sama. So, archive man, archive man ang usapan. The thing is, mapapansin nyo, nandiyan yung agenda ng 5S. Okay. What's next? Okay, so si Kai, si uh, actually nickname ang Kairi is uh, Arabic word. Ito yung magagandang coincidence eh. Parang serendipitous na marriage ng 5S and ARM was Ka Kairi eh, Kairi is an Arabic ter mini, uh, term meaning good and Zainab is adornment. So sila po yung dalawang mascot namin, si Kai at siya, si, Z si Zainab. Unang name was uh, ano unang name was Zenaida pero it's Zenaida actually mari mali yung ano isang publication diyan the first one So we have um uh, Ma'am uh, Eva Macariola who went to Cotabato no so sana pumunta pa kayo Cotabato um uh, our executive secretary Liza Alamia uh, ang naglead ng unveiling nila 2016 inimprove po namin ng ano ang logo namin. No, gusto namin pati logo may meaning para parang reminder for all of us. Uh, it's the 14 principles. So we approach kanya-kanya approach po ng 5S. You can approach Siri as Siri kung ano man pagkaintindi niyo. Sa amin uh, since walang uh, walang saktong uh, Philippine word or English word, we we subdivide Siri into the yung tinuro ni sir, yung uh, sub principles niya, no? And we try to apply that. At sa pag-audit po, we, our audit is based on this. So, ang 5S logo namin, it's 14 strokes, no? Signifying the 14 uh, principles na meron dapat sa, gover sa regional offices namin and sa office of the regional governor. So, yan po yung ano. So, it's, it reminds them. Um, 2017, we launched the ARM Kaizen app. Okay? So, that people can read on. Yung app po, parang learning app siya. You can read on Kaizen, uh, uh, 5S, SPMS, and uh, uh, QMS, the uh, 20, 2015 standard, no? The ISO 90 2015 standard, on your own. Pag nasa ba, ano kayo? So, wherever you go, you can read it. You can test yourself. Pwede kang mag-quiz on uh, 5S. So, yun. Um, sa archive day, nag-focus kami on NAP training. No? So, second archive, archive day namin. Uh, yung NAP training, kasi may mga NAP issuances na have the principles of uh, Siri and Satan. No? Uh, Manapansin namin, yung NAP Form 1, NAP Form 2, and NAP Form 3, it's Siri and Satan all the way. Tama po ba, sir? And so, uh, ano, actively pinapromote namin sa kanila. So, forum on, um, and then we had, we had the forum on safety and security kasi ang plan namin sa 2018, ililaunch namin yung safety and security uh, component ng 5S namin. So, where's that? Where's the... Okay. 2018, so yun nga, it, it happened in 2018, again, yung mga the regional governor, executive secretary on all the secretaries, no? We launched wall -E. he's a it's a, sp he's a spoof of wall -E, pero CCTV siya. Pero wall -E, wall -E is uh, an Arabic term meaning protector or guardian. So, yun. Grabe mga coincidence ng 5SI. Parang meant na meant ng 5SI air. <laughs> and then, sakto po, data privacy naging active ang, ano, uh, ang commission, no? Uh, data privacy, uh, pinapromote namin. We're doing cascading slide right now. And then, may mga plano rin po kami for 2019, no? Ito po yung or Occupational health and safety kapipirma lang. What, what was that last month? yung Occupational Health and Safety na Republic Act. No? So, dapat i-apply po natin sa government office po natin yun. It's also 5S. Yung mga principles po ng 5S nandun. No? And then, may magkaka-exit audit po kami sa 2019 kasi magkaka-play visit na po sa January na papalitan na po kami ng bank, ng bank sa Moro, ang ARMM. And then, meron kami transition kit. May hinahanda po kami yung kit ng mga all the files na kailangan ng uh, finance, ng uh, ad management at saka technical services, mga planning officers, lahat ng files and laws na kailangan nilang mabasa. You know? uh, try namin ipunin sa isang kit and then ipapasa, transition kit na ibibigay namin. Kasi all of those contains the principles of continu uh, Kaizen, no? PDCA pala. So parang you could say it loosely, no? Kai, ARM Kaizen is PDCA, it's 
continual improvement in Skyzen. No? Uh, applying the principles of SPMS, 5S, and um, ISO 9001, no? quality management system. Okay, so if you're gonna look at the timeline, no, sa, if you're gonna look at the timeline by by the uh, uh, sa point of view na office of the regional governor and the agencies, ito po yung nangyari. So at the office of the regional governor, training and preparations, issuances, and the cleanup day, do, no, and then trainings side by side. Kasabay po nagdo-document tap 2015 nagdo-document tap po kami ng QMS namin. Na ISO certify kami, tapos nag-audit na po kami on 5S. QWS is also 5S, Quality Workplace Standard. Madal, mad, marami po na dito, QWS, QMS. QMS is 5S, QWS is ISO. Okay, tapos nag-merge na po kami, 2016, 5S becomes parts of the quality management system. Okay, and then we continued on with the PD, PDCA. Okay, sige po. And then the secretariat, we have the work... Ito po, naging part na kami ng Workplace Improvement Team. And then, sa agencies, training, set up 5S core teams, participate in the CNEP Day, PDCA, audit, awards from ORG, PDCA, and audit and awards from ORG. Okay, keys to success. Okay, our, our love with design with say so. So, say so shine, para i-connect lang ba? Ayun po yung size. Mag kinasal na po namin ng QWS namin at saka 5S namin. So, keys to success. Paano, um, the thing is, pa, dapat ma-prove muna namin na successful kami. So, audit results. Tinig namin na external audit ng Tuvray Land. Palagi napapansin ng uh, good housekeeping. Result of audits ng agencies kung nag-improve ba sila. Continuing management support. Testimonial by employees. Kasi sinusupport ko ng management tuwan-tuwa sa amin. Acknowledgement by partners ng clients and trainers. And 5S, of course, sustained is also already an success indicator. Uh, ito po yung mga employees, ini-interview po namin sa kasila, no? Kung effects sa 5S sa kanila at sa personal lives nila. Personal lives, 5S. Sorry, kailangan magmadali. Ito po isang screenshot ng presentation ng DAP, no? Ina-acknowledge na po, tuwan-tuwa na po kami nakita namin logo namin. Pagdating sa presentation ng DAP, 5, ARM is 5S, uh, is implementing 5S among other government offices. Okay, keys to the success. Uh, the summary is, uh, this is the summary, management support, you need a dynamic core team, you have to turn the PDCA, uh, awareness campaign, cascading consultations and trainings, and uh, a thing we called convergence or synergy. Uh, you'll see that a little later. Uh, resources and co-sponsorship, the executive secretary and uh, the regional governor, nandiyan po yan, t-shirts and all maps, maps, nandiyan po yan sa cleanup day namin. Um, sila po ang unang magmamap at magwawalis. So, may ceremonial na pagpulot nila. Okay? Uh, pag ito po, mga admin office, admin assistant lang sila, nakasama sa core team ko. Pero the the executive directors of the offices, for of, of, of example, itong office, talagang uh, we welcome sila during audit. So, talagang mga example. We need the dynamic core team. Dapat, ma, ma, as 5S promoter, dapat maingay ka. No? Pagdating po sa oh, ano, malapalabig Marami po kami pakulo and these teams are karamihan kabataan and maraming mga hugot sa buhay na nag-apply namin sa 5S. Ayaw eh. Sorry ah. The logo, may ito po yung app sa Google Play. This this logo is PDCA. Tuwan-tuwa ako nung pinreset ng staff ko. Sir, oh, may logo na tayo dun sa Kaizen app PDCA Butterfly. Tapos yung awards, iba, iba, pag, uh, when you turn to PDSA, it means documentation reports, competition, and awards. So ito po yung, ito po yung agencies, no? Ito po yung name na agencies. Ito yung score nila, kunyari, management, commitment, and focal person. May focal person ba sila? Yeah, so may grade sila. Ito yung agency one, ag or RT, ito po yung mga agencies. Ito yung mga part na medyo mababa sila. So yun. Uh, dapat may core team sila, may ganon. So may, may certain standards kami, No? And general, Seiri, Seiton, Seiso, Shitsuke, uh, and Sekitsu, no? May mga grade po sila sa amin. May mga totals po sila. And then general, no? Very, 5S implementation ay mataas sa ganitong areas, no? So, uh, sorry, kailangan mo magmadali. 
And then documentation reports, pag may event kami, may consultation kami, we do have documentation reports. We have, we were passing the, the, the an issue once on archives and records management. Nagoconsult muna kami bago kami. Tapos rin report po namin yung result ng consultation bago namin ipasa yung issue once. Uh, competition in awards, ito po ang secretary ng DOH namin, no? During the cleanup day. Uh, in, we're spying on them kung magaling sila. Ito po ang Office of the Regional Governor, no? Office of the Secretary. Ito yung top five namin, no? In last December 2016. Ito naman sa mga agencies. Ito mga pakulo namin. Uh, head of Office doing cleanup. So ito po yung Head of Office na yan. Head of BCH, Head of uh, the DA. And then, Best in Fixed Point Photography, pinakamagandang quality workplace standard. Yung pagkasulat ng workplace standards nila, uh, may grading po sila sa amin. Okay, awards. One week po ang mga event namin, no? Um, huwag po kayo malito, no? Sa Office of the Regional Governor, mayroon kaming ISO week kasi kinasal na namin ng 5S at saka, ano, ISO. Sa office, sa labas naman, no? Iba't ibang offices, mayroon kaming 5S week, no? So usually, 5S week, start ng taon. ISO week, within the Office of the Regional Governor, it's medyo madang September, pag malapit na yung audit namin. Uh, ito po ay isang photo booth actually. Ito ay yung mga pictures na kita nyo, pictures sa mga photo booth namin. Actually, officials like our cabinet secretary would bring her family no, to, to the photo event. Tapos ipaprint namin yan para sa kanila para iuwi. Security guards, heads of offices, they're all there. no. Pagdating sa photo booth po ito, kami lang gumagawa ng mga gusto nilang uh, ano. Ito ang ito ang office of uh, itong ano intelligence and security services team namin. Ito yung mga delivery boys namin sa records. So it's they get to be cocky and comfortable with 5S. Ah uh, ultimong pagbigay ng disposal boxes ng uh, lagpas na sanap uh, uh, retention periods. Uh, kami po may mga may mapakulong event po kaming ganyan. And then we don't pass uh, we don't pass an issue once na walang walang consultation. So, ito yung draft na uh, quality workplace standard for all agencies na dinadraft namin. Ito, pinapakomment namin mga focus from the agencies. Okay, we have the uh, we have the Facebook page. no? And then, ito, pinahanda lang namin ito sa graphic artist namin para PowerPoint lang pwede namin baguhin yung wording sa mga reminder. So, almost, hindi naman araw-araw, may mga reminder kami on nasa on namin. We, we train employees a lot and we do cascadings Okay, um, and then, ito pa yung mga trainings namin. Uh, 25% is ISO, tapos others, tapos POAP trainings, 38%. Pero ISO and 5S, mga 25% sa amin. Now, we monitor that, we document that, we report that. Nagpapasalamat kami sa mga boss namin. No? Um, what else? Ayaw mag-move eh. Re-cascade, retrain. Uh, Ako po, nagtitrain sa 5S ulit. Ito po yung sa Tagaytay. Napabangit niyo, ma'am, with Ma'am Nico. Ito po yung sa, uh, with Sir Nico sa Tagaytay. And then, uh, nag, uh, sa briefer namin, mapapansin niyo, paulit-ulit ko anong 5S. Hindi po, naka, hindi po masamang ulit-ulitin ko anong laman. So, I like to focus on this, the convergence, before I go to the uh, video. Sana may time pa for videos. Okay lang. Sir Nico, uh, convergence. Convergence ng management, support, documentation, promotional skills in an awareness event. The 5S week, the ISO week, no? Uh, you, you converge that. There are existing laws that are 5S, solid waste management, NAP issuances on retention, data privacy on security, occupational health and safety, and soft 5S, ano, CSC uh, issuances, no? We have issue. You look look into those, look, look, look for 5S in um, existing laws na pwede mong idagdag sa pag, uh, ano nila, compliance nila. PDC initiatives, isa na, kinasala namin ng SPMS, ISO at 5S, isang core team na yan. AC, agency man, mandates, pag sa solid waste, halos pinapasa ko na sa DNR, kinasusulatan ko yung secretary, boss pa, pwede tulong kami sa pag, mga basu, uh, basurahan. So, kompleto kami basurahan dahil sa regional offices, dahil sinasagot ng DNR. Ang, ang mga videos namin, awareness, mapapanood nyo kanina, pinapakiusap ko na sa BPN na i-cover yung mga events namin. And context of recognition, yung pop culture, like mga hugot, no? Na 2014 movie, yung something, that thing called Tadhana, may mga ano na, that thing called 5S, that thing called QMS. So, kasama yun sa mga poster. The, the thing is, it, it ano,
it adds to yung pang ano ba uh, pag absorption ng concepts culture and history um madumi daw ang uh, org noon so culture and history ang mga muslims medyo yung yung delikadesa nila yung parang may tinatawag kaming maratabat yung parang tipong nakaka-hurt naman ganyan tingin sa amin so with 5s we get to prove that we are not uh, hindi kami magulo hindi kami uh, ano hindi kaya namin mag-govern ng maayos things like that and videos siko mag-videos po tayo no loyal and sustained self discipline because of shit city mapagmahal dahil sa 5S. So, uh, we'll play the videos po uh, and that will be the end of it. Ninaw ka ng daan-daang mga empleyado mula sa iba't ibang mga ahensya ng ARMM ang isinagawang 5S Big Cleanup Day sa ORG Compound nitong ados ng Setyembre 2014. Layunin ang aktividad na ito na maisunong ang tama, organisado, standardized at epektibong working areas ng bawat opisina ng pamahalaan ng ARMM. Ang Development Academy of the Philippines o DAP ang nanguna at gumabay sa mga focal persons ng bawat ahensya ng ARMM. Ang kahalagahan ng isang maayos na pinagtatrabahuan mula sa kalinisan hanggang sa pag-oorganisa ng mga files nito. Ang 5S ay mula sa mga salitang hapon na Siri, Seiton, Seiso, Sikitsu at Shitsuke na ang ibig sabihin ay suriin, sinupin, simutin, siguruhin ang kalinisan at self-discipline o sariling kusa. Ayon pa kay DAP Senior Vice President for Programs Magdalena L. Mendoza, ang 5S Good Housekeeping Program ay may ituturing na isang pundasyon ng magandang pamamahala na nasimulan na sa bagong reformang patuloy na isinusulong ni Governor Mujib Hataman. Paraan din ito upang mapagtibay pa ang paghahanda sa nalalapit na transisyon ng Bangsamoro Government. Mula sa Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao at Bureau of Public Information, ako si Mark Anthony Uy para sa The Working ARMM Government. Samang-samang naglinis ang mga opisyales at empleyado ng ARMM sa isinagawang 5S o Good Housekeeping Cleanup Day ito ang uno ng Pebrero sa loob ng ARMM compound sa lungsod ng Cotabato. Ang aktibidad ay may layong maisulong ang tama, organisado at epektibong working areas ng bawat opisina sa pamahalaan ng ARMM. Ang 5S ay nagmula sa mga salitang hapon na Siri, Seiton, Seiso, Sikitsu at Shitsuke na ang ibig sabihin ay suriin, sinupin, simutin, siguruhin ang kalinisan at self-discipline o sariling kusa. Ayon kay ARMM Executive Secretary Atty. Liza Alamia, Mas katama din dito sa 5S in organizing uh, yung sa record, record management, uh, kapag may kailangan kang uh, mga dokumento, ang pinaka matagal no, para makuha yung dokumento na yun ay 30 seconds. First time din ngayon on this day na naibaba natin yung 5S sa lahat ng mga schools sa entire ARM. Sa nasabing okasyon, pinarangalan ang mga pinaka-organisado at maayos na ahensya gaya ng Technical Education Skills and Development Authority o TESDA, Department of Public Works and Highways o DPWH, Regional Human Rights Commission o RHRC, Office of the Southern Cultural Communities o OSCC, at ang Regional Budget and Management Office o RPMO. Ang Regional Planning and Development Office o RPDO naman ay tumanggap ng Plank of Appreciation mula sa CSC ARMM bilang pangkilala sa mahusay na human resource practices at systems nito. Ayon naman kay Dominador Gonzales ng Civil Service Commission o CSC ng ARMM. So habang tinitingnan po natin yung mga proseso yung Civil Service Commission naman ay tinitingnan kung paano po pa-improve yung level ng ating human resource management dito sa ARMM. Mula sa Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao at Bureau of Public Information, ako si Mark Anthony Uy para sa The Working ARMM Government.
Nagtipon ang mga opisyal at empleyado ng ARMM nitong lunes ng umaga a 8 ng Enero para sa pagsasagawa ng Clean Up Day na bahagi ng 5S Week ngayong taon. Pinangunahan ni ARMM Governor Mujib Hataman ang aktibidad sa loob ng ARMM Compound. Ang 5S ay isang metodolohiya ng pagsasaayos ng mga lugar kung saan ginagawa ang mga trabaho. Paraan din ito upang mas lalo pang maging epektibo ang sistema at daloy ng mga gawain sa bawat kupisina. Ang 5S ay hango sa salitang hapon na nangangahulugang Seiri, Seiton, Seiso, Seikitsu at Shitsuke. Ayon kay Governor Hataman, maliban sa ligtas at maayos ang pinagtatrabaho ang ahensya, kailangan din na maisaayos ang mga datos ng mga programa at proyektong iniimplementa sa ARMM. Kaya nagpasya ang pamahalaan ng regional government sa panahon natin na dapat ayusin natin ang ating sistema. Bakit ko? Dahil hindi magkakaroon ng continuity ang ating trabaho kung magkakaroon ng putol sa mga ilang dokumento. Para hindi na magdududa ang ilan na merong korupsyon sa loob ng ARMM, i-oobliga ko mula ORG sa Bureau of Finance, ilalagay na namin sa tarpaulin ang lahat ng pera na bumababa sa ahensya. At i-oobliga ko rin ang lahat ng ahensya na ilalagay na nila sa website nila at sa tarpaulin at lahat ng pera na binababa nila at ginagastos sa kanila. Maliban sa mga karakter ng 5S na Kai at Zen, ipinakilala din si Wally, ang karakter na maghihikayat sa lahat ng tanggapan na maglagay ng mga closed circuit TV o CCTV, fire exits, magsasagawa ng mga disaster drill, at ilan pang mga safety and security measures upang makaiwas sa anumang kapahamakan. Pagkatapos ng programa ay sabay-sabay na naglinis ang mga empleyado at opisyal ng ARMM sa kanilang mga ahensya. Mula sa Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao at Bureau of Public Information, ako si Mark Anthony Uy para sa The Working ARMM Government. Everybody would say na magulo dito, pangit ang opisina natin. Um, Dati-dati, nung um, unang naupo si RJ dito, you would see that the files are just everywhere. Kung meron kang hahanapin ng mga dokumento, they're just everywhere. Sometimes you cannot even see them. When we launched the QMS documents, we had a ceremonial signing and no less than the regional governor gave each of the heads of offices, the chiefs of each of the divisions, a copy of the quality policy as well as the quality management system documents. So it was really the regional governor who took the first step to have this uh, QMS. When there is change, hindi lahat ng tao is open for change. So we had to make sure and find ways to catch their attention, to be very vigilant about uh, letting them understand and accept the why we're getting into the ISO process. This ISO uh, certification has been a dream of us since 2013. Um, from the moment that RG was uh, elected into office in 2013, we really plan to have this ISO certification. And so now, we have this uh, QMS. In order to ensure quality in its delivery of public services and to sustain the gains of reform, the Office of the Regional Governor sets the bar even higher by taking the initiative to become ISO 9001 certified. Through ISO 9001, the ARMM constituents can now be better served by the management, employees, and staff of the Office of the Regional Governor who follow strict compliance on the requirements of ISO 9001 through its quality workplace standards, procedures, and management system. Employees come to office wearing proper attire. Upon entrance, courteous security officers are at post. RFID system provides employees access to facilities. Documents are properly arranged on top of desk. Drawers are kept clean inside and out. Computer sets are properly installed. During prayer, 
employees can pray on assigned prayer rooms. We asked the team leader of quality workplace, Mary Rose Studio, how she would best describe the individual workplace that would qualify the ISO 9001. Best individual on a workplace, um, the um, station or the cubicle should be clean and free of dirt. Papers or equipment na kinakailangan within the day ang allowed on top of the table. Ang pedestal or drawers should be clean and neatly arranged. So kung may mga files doon, dapat naka-arrange ng mabuti. The third drawer, it should only um, contain personal items. Kung may mga bag doon, ilalagay. So how about the comfort rooms? So comfort room, it should be, ano, the, um, for the toilet bowl, it should be clean, free of dirt and stains. We heard that the security in office of the regional governor of Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao is systematized. In security, we have the ID system. So nag-issue sa bawat employee nitong RF. ID and then it should be operational. Uh, meron tayong mga security officers na nakaposition daily and in nighttime shifts. So in 24 hours, may meron tayong ano designated staff in proper place. How do you sustain order on your lobbies, parking areas, and stock rooms? Sa passageway or lobby, sa entrance and exit natin, it should be free from obstruction. It should be clean and well maintained. Provision of separate parking spaces sa mga officials, separate din dapat sa guests and sa employees. Uh, may nakadesignate din na areas para sa four-wheeled vehicles, separate din yung sa mga motorcycles and bicycles. Well, how do you organize the conference room? For the conference room, the chairs should be neatly arranged and dapat may available tayong extra chairs in case kulangin yung chairs natin. And dapat yung mga equipments natin like the tables, chairs, the um, microphone, um, it should be in good condition at all times. In terms of document control, we have the role of ensuring that we have a system of creation, revision, approval, review, and identification of documents. And we ensure that relevant versions of documents are available anytime that it is needed. And we make sure that they are properly controlled and tracked. And we have people who are well trained and well versed with uh, how it should be uh, controlled and tracked and uh, we make sure that they are well versed with the recent policies in terms of record control as well as document control. We make use of uh, the available technology right now for records uh, storage and retrieval. We have two main tools for that. First is that Globodoc system has been adopted since 2011 and it is still being used by records uh, control office which is us and by the Human Resources Division. And it does make things easy for us. And then in order also to maintain the momentum of interest of the employees, we had the ISO Olympics competition because the offices of the ORG are very much competitive and in order to attract or to sustain their interest to the QMS, we had to come up with uh, initiatives like the ISO Olympics. We did uh, ISO Olympics. It was uh, a one-day activity. It was filled with games, parlor games actually, where we um, incorporated questions regarding our quality management system. You, know, you have to exert you know, a, a effort talaga in making it seem uh, making them feel that this is really good and this is fun, this is going to be easier. Uh, you have to make them feel that they, 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 they shouldn't fear this change because it's actually a good change. And we practiced it, uh, you know, we, we started applying what we wrote in the manual and things got easier. So when they saw that, it wasn't hard for them to follow what others were, were doing. And everyone's really looking forward to it. Um, right now, we can no longer contain <laughs> the excitement. And for lack of a better term, I have to put it in a hashtag, I can so do this. I can so do this. We can so do this. We can so do this. 
We can so do this. <laughs> Finally, we are on the last leg of the presentations for uh, to mo uh, this morning's Cartilia session. Uh, just a reminder on the flow of the program, after the presentation of our last speaker, we will proceed with the open forum, the traditional photo op, and then sharing of some announcements. So having said that, we would like to invite the Director of the Productivity and Quality Training Office, Ms. Maria Teresa A. Agustin to share about the institutionalization of 5S Good Housekeeping Program. Ms. Agustin, please. So, magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. I think with the contents on 5S that has been shared by Homer, and the uh, application and the showcase of uh, 5S practices uh, done by Gadi you know, for the ARMM. Uh, I think um, you are already convinced at this point <laughs> that 5S really works in the government. <laughs> and so um, this is uh, my way of sharing to you our uh, well, opportunities to maximize uh, the application of 5S in uh, government agencies now. Okay. So, uh, given uh, what you have seen you know, from the presentations of uh, Gadi, okay, so uh, I will share with you how government offices will be able to avail of opportunities now in line with the application of 5S, okay? So, um, yes, okay, so ano nga ba yan? So, right now, um, the Academy, um, in cooperation with the Government Quality Management Committee, no, um, um, we're working together um, in the Government Quality Management Program to promote the institutionalization of 5S, good housekeeping, okay? But, uh, so, ito po, no, yung mga component programs of the government quality management program. So, if uh, this is just to recall to you, okay, that the government quality management program came as a result of our uh, implementation of Executive Order 605, alam nyo po ba yon? Um, so, marami naman po dito sa agencies participating today are already certified to ISO 9001. Okay. So, uh, that order um, requires the institutionalization, the establishment of quality management system no, in government agencies, most especially at the executive offices. No? The LGUs are just encourage you know, to establish, adopt the quality management system and have it certified to ISO 9001. And as a result of that, there is a committee that oversees the implementation of this, you know, of the, the quality management system you know, in, in the government so that um, it is uh, uh, carried out you know, in all uh, government uh, agencies, no, especially what what is stated on sa EO, no? the national government agencies. So, so that um, based on the based on that, no? the quality uh, government quality management committee has set up the government quality management program no? to help uh, public sector agencies no? to be able to carry out no, yung mga quality management uh, aside from the QMS no, um, there are other components that will help uh, instill no, and uh, institutionalize a culture of quality no, in the government okay so um, component 
one is the strengthening and expanding of the government quality management system. So, isa po yon na component program. So, lima po siya. No? And number two is institutionalizing the 5S good housekeeping. Okay? And uh, third is institutionalizing the service quality standards. Fourth is the public sector innovation laboratory. And fifth is promoting public sector productivity and quality improvement. So these are five component uh, programs that are well supported by the Government Quality Management Committee, okay, uh, which is chaired by the Department of Budget and Management. Okay, so um, this is um, well participation uh, in this program. Yeah institutionalizing the 5S good housekeeping is open to all government agencies. Okay. So, uh, that's the second. Okay. So, these are the objectives. First, as I mentioned, as part of the component uh, one. So, this is to increase the number of agencies no, uh, with QMS certified to ISO 9001, no, now 2015 streamline processes of frontline services no? and third is improve the workplace quality and organization of the national government agencies okay so this is in line with our 5s good housekeeping program okay and fourth is the promotion of innovation in public service delivery no? and pf is improving the capacities of government agencies in adopting quality improvement approaches. No? So other than uh, QMS and uh, 5S, there are still other productivity and quality improvement approaches that can be adopted no, by government agencies. Okay? So in line with our uh, program uh, under component two, so 5S, um, this is what we are promoting right now. So this will help transform our public service delivery no? through the use of 5S. No? Bakit 5S? No? So sinabi kang ina ni Homer, okay? so ito yun, no? yung, yung, mga, yung lahat ng 5S na discuss ni Homer yon. Actually, and, and si, si Gadi has made mention about their um, well, incorporation of the term Kaizen no, in their application of 5S. No? So, uh, I would like to uh, continue at that point no? because Kaizen is a Japanese term also, no? uh, which means uh, uh, continuous improvement. So, it means improvement no? for the better. It's change, no? Kai and Zen. No? Uh, so, uh, so that the Japanese thought of coming up with Kaizen tools no, that will help uh, organizations to make incremental improvements. No. So, how, how does it happen? So, it is through 5S. No. So, you start with 5S because this is the most basic of the productivity and quality improvement tools. No. And uh, since this, this is the most basic, it helps no, uh, build a culture of quality service in the government. So, you instill the culture. So, that's why if, if you notice, the first three S in 5S, they are action words. They are to-dos. From Seiri, Seiton, say so. They are to-dos. They are action words. Then, from the fourth S up to the fifth S, okay? So, uh, when you do a regular practice of the first three S, okay, so you develop the habit, develop the practice, okay? You make it as a regular practice in the organization, and so you reach the fourth level, no? which is seiketsu. No? That is to standardize. So, you maintain a high level of cleanliness and orderliness in the organization. And in that case, okay, so when you maintain that high level of cleanliness and orderliness in the organization, you instill okay, 
uh, self-discipline. Okay? So that's when you form the habit and the culture. No? So people will do things without being told or ordered. May sariling pusa. Di ba? If, if you uh, will recall the slide of Homer uh, on the three types of workplaces, okay? so ano yung first class workplace? Huh? So everyone uh, cooperates no? in cleaning up the mess. Okay? Because, um, well, ordinarily, we are used to having the housekeeping people around us. No? And we rely on them. No, meron naman tayo housekeeping. Bakit ako maglilinis? Diba? But 5S is everyone's responsibility. No? So, that's why uh, it is really very important for, uh, for us no? uh, to uh, develop this habit, no? application of 5S in um, public sector uh, organizations. Okay? So, and after going through your um, uh, the, the presentations of Homer and Gadi, I think um, you may have realized at this point that ang 5S hindi lang pang opisina, pang bahay pa, di ba? <laughs> okay, so very simple, very practical, no? but. Uh, will require a lot of patience and cooperation from people. Yeah. So yeah, nasabi ko na pala to, tungo na dito sa slides na to, no? <laughs> okay. So yeah, no, yun the first three S's, they are the action words, no? That they are the to-dos, no? A uh, second so this is uh the standardize um maintaining a high level of uh, cleanliness and orderliness, and then uh, Shitsuke, the fifth level. Kaya nga, uh, nandun na siya sa mataas na level, self-discipline. Kasi it takes practice no? to be able to have the self-discipline. Okay? So if I may share with you, uh, in one of my visits to Toyota, Philippines, okay? so natanong ko, magkaibigan ko yung Sabi ko, bakit wala na kayo nung mga ano, wala kayong mga 5S posters? Because uh, we at the Productivity and Development Center, no, way back in the, the late 90s, no? so ano naman ako, hindi naman ako baby boomer. <laughs> so generation X ako. <laughs> uh, so we, uh, I, I have witnessed that we um, promote 5S no, to both the public and the private sectors through our promotional materials like the 5S poster. No? So, yung mga clients namin, uh, okay, binibigyan namin ng mga 5S poster. And so, kung bumisita kami, nakikita namin, naka, nakapaskel no, yung mga poster. So, that that is also an indication that they are really appreciating the use of 5S. No? They have uh, applied it. And they are practicing it. Okay? Sabi ng ano, sabi sa Toyota, we don't need to have all these posters no, on 5S because 5S is already embedded in our culture, in our way of life. So, 5S is a way of life. So, uh, we do hope that uh, if uh, Toyota has done that, kasi sila di naman na nag-initiate talaga nito. No? So, it can also be replicated in other organizations, especially the public sector organizations. And we have seen that happen at ARMM. No? Very successful. Okay. So, an ano nga ba ito? No? Yung, yung 5S Good Housekeeping Program that we are promoting. Okay. So, it's basically setting up a quality workplace for public sector organizations. And this uh, program uh, has the following components. Okay? So awareness session. Okay? So we just did it. Plus, uh, Wednesday, we had the executive briefing for 
all beneficiary agencies of uh, of the five best good housekeeping program for 2018. Okay, we have capability building programs. In fact, next week we'll, we will have the first batch of the trainers training on 5S for the beneficiary agencies. Then the second week of October, we'll have another batch. Then after these beneficiary agencies have applied the, the 5S, we will come up with monitoring and evaluation. So aside from the internal audit that will be done by agencies, we, the DAP, will also monitor and evaluate how agencies perform or apply the 5S. And performance improvement, this is to check on how well the agencies have been uh, doing in line with 5S and how uh, they are able to level up you know, in their performance on 5S. Then uh, after performance improvement, of course, we need to uh, incentivize the agencies. We need to give recognition and uh, aside from the recognition, so plus factor and recognition, what is important is that you are able to develop the culture, the habit. And um, aside from the recognition, we also intend to have the sharing of 5S best practices among public sector organizations. So if you appreciate the presentation of Gadi on the best practice uh, best practices yes on 5s of armm i'm sure all of you will agree with me that each one of your agencies can be able to showcase your 5s best practices later no? and it would be a good opportunity for knowledge sharing no? on how organizations apply 5s okay. so so these are the program objectives that is to acquire uh, for agencies to be able to gain the knowledge, better understanding of uh, 5S and uh, build the capabilities of the agencies. So the agency in turn will um, design the 5S action plan and demonstrate application of 5S no? uh, in the delivery of agency services, which will also uh, surface, no? Uh, when uh, we monitor and evaluate the performance, okay? So for this program, our target, okay, so our 15 beneficiary agencies to be covered by this program for 2018. So this will be the first cycle of the program, okay? So we just started with it this September, and um, so we are already... Um, uh, moving forward to the capability building. No? And uh, we have a total of, of 75 no, target participants to be trained in the two batches of trainers training this year. Okay? And uh, so the, um, joining the program this year, okay, so our agencies from the national line agencies, uh, other office of the executive uh, offices, uh, local government units and the SUCs. Okay, so there are three phases of the program this year. So we have the general orientation, the trainers training, and the sectoral fora. Okay, and uh, here uh, we also have the development of 5S advocacy materials. So we will be um, disseminating 5S promotional materials to public sector agencies. And third is monitoring document documentation and dissemination this is where we will do monitoring and evaluation plus showcase of 5s best practices of public sector agencies okay so this is our timeline so from september to october this year we will be doing the general orientation plus the trainers training on 5s then october to december this year uh, we'll have uh, the agency application okay, uh, of 5S kick-off activities so, so that they can already start implementing. And uh, before the end of the year, the DAP project team will have to monitor no, the performance. And by 2019, okay, so that uh, we, we will continue the first program cycle on 5S. And 
we will have to do performance improvement check no, to monitoring and evaluation. And there will be recognition for the uh, agencies that will be able to apply 5S and there will be a sharing no, of 5S best practices no, by next year. Okay. So there will be two stages of audit, 2018 and 2019. And uh, if your agency uh, is not included among those 15 beneficiary agencies this year, but you are already practicing 5S and you have your best practices on 5S, okay? So your agency can uh, join, participate under phase three. No? And you can also uh, join the sectoral fora. So these are the 15 beneficiary agencies for 2015. Okay. 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 So I think for the benefits, I think you are uh, already uh, well aware and you recognize what are the benefits now of 5S, okay? So it complements the implementation of 5S as you have seen in the case of ARMM. So uh, wrapping it up, okay? So it enhances individual and organizational performance at it, as it helps improve productivity, no? It helps uh, improve operational efficiency, the quality of our uh, service delivery, so cost minimization, so uh, faster or prompt delivery of our services. It also um, help enhance safety, no, in the workplace as well as enhance the level of morale of people, no, in the workplace. Okay, so these are also the benefits, and I'm sure you have very well recognized all this. Okay, and. And so, requirements for the agency uh, who are beneficiary of this, okay, so they just need to come up with their 5S groundwork. So, that is to plan how they will be implementing 5S in their respective agency, execu execute the plan, and then uh, at the agency level, they can do the evaluation and monitoring, and um, the sustenance activities can be done. Uh, using uh, this approach, the PDCA cycle, and also through uh, promotional schemes as uh, can be seen from the presentation of the ARMM. Okay. So expected deliverables for the beneficiary agencies. Of course, we expect the agencies to prepare and implement the 5S action plan. So you need to have a 5S task force, the conduct of 5S situation appraisal, the development of quality workplace standards. Okay, so these are just sample of the 5S committee that can be um, well linked with the QMS core team. So if your agency is already uh, has already an established QMS, okay. Uh, so this is how you can uh, set up your 5S committee or task force. This is just a sample. You can uh, customize it for your organization. Anyway, you will all be given a copy of this presentation, okay? So these are the roles and responsibilities, okay? Uh, so uh, of the top management as well as the, the people composing the uh, different committees you know, on 5S, okay? So that's it, okay? So another, uh, well, na, na, na split yata ito, no? So we expect also the agencies to come up with the launching of the program at the agency level and identification of performance indicators as well as the documentation of implementation. Okay. Okay. So with that, I hope you are already convinced to participate in the 5S uh, program of the government. Okay. So maraming salamat po.
Thank you, Ms. Agustin, for your presentation on the institutionalization of 5S Good Housekeeping. Now, uh, to open our minds and raise some issues and concerns, uh, let us proceed to our open forum. For the first part of this session, uh, we have identified a reactor who will share her insights on the lectures we had earlier. Uh, we, uh, just a little reminder uh, to, for her to to do her reaction at a maximum of five minutes. <laughs> yeah. So with that said, may we call on our reactor, Ms. Luz Estrella Sexon, OIC Director from House of Representatives. Yeah, good morning everyone. I'm Luz Estrella Sexon, OIC Director of the Procurement and Supply Management Service of the House of Representatives. Uh, I do agree na 5S is very nice kung if it's really implemented. And I think this is a collaborative work between top management from the house leadership down to the middle management up to the lowest rank. But the problem is, I think this is not really implemented in the office yet. So I believe with this little knowledge, maybe in my own little way, I could start with my service office. From their own, siguro, pwede nothing implements further because we have also participants from our building and grounds management, which are actually the offices concerned with waste management. Kasi actually, what do we understand about waste? Hindi lang naman yung mga papers and all the spoils, but how about the waste when we think of people, waste people? Madaling mag-waste ng mga items. But for me, it's difficult to dispose about the special ways. Thank you. <laughs> and I also appreciate that this kind of sessions are being conducted because now open ang mind namin. Thank you very much. Uh, is there any response from our resource speakers? Uh, okay. Okay. Um, well, um, thank you, Paul, for uh, that sharing no, of your uh, perspectives about the application of 5S. Well, it's really normal no, for us to experience resistance no, uh, on the application of 5S. So, uh, in the introduction of any productivity and quality improvement initiative, uh, we will uh, really uh, encounter a lot of resistance. So, normal po yun. But but uh, when people realize the benefits, no, the visible results of our initiative on 5S, no, um, they will also, in turn, uh, be able to uh, be convinced and uh, they will participate, they will cooperate no, um, uh, eventually. No? But of course, um, this is not a quick fix. No? It will take time. So, kaya nga kaizen siya, incremental improvement. No? So, maganda po yung point ninyo na, uh, na uh, you will start no? uh, on your own, individually. So, that is a very good showcase of the application of 5S. So, pilot implementation, that can be done. So, even after attending this criteria session, uh, you can already uh, apply no, 5S on your own. No? And uh, people will, will notice, what are you doing? No? So um, then your, your own uh, workstation can be a showcase. No? It, it can be a pilot uh, project for your, for your unit or office. And then if other offices notice it, then it can be replicated. No? It can be done. Uh, agency-wide, department-wide. So, I think um, once people uh, realize what are the benefits no, for them individually and at the organizational level, then uh, people will get to cooperate and participate. Okay. So, yun lang po. Um, 
two things na narinig ko na maganda no and napagdaan namin was yung na mention kanina was yung management support and then uh, starting small okay um manage uh, management support po pasa po yung kasi ang 5S para it's an pag pagdating sa amin ng 5S yes it's new but we have the opportunity of shaping it for us kasi bagong bago pa lang eh wala masyadong gumagawa what we did we asked the management to uh, allow us to give prizes sa competitions doon talaga ang, ang nagganda ng effect sa amin sa office of the regional governor no um, we had um, before kami magpa ice certify nagkaroon kami na tatlong uh, ICE, uh, 5S audits sa mga offices. And then we promised uh, awards for individual workplace and, individual, and uh, yung divisions, no? yung Office of the Cabinet Secretary, Office of... Nakita nyo may mga awards sila. No? So, there were... Ang dami mga initiatives silang naisip dahil, dahil, sa, dahil sa may competition. No? Nandiyan din yung lumalabas yung pride natin bilang mga Pilipino. Yung parang, ah, mas okay kami, mas... Uh, that's because of management commitment. And then, uh, nagulat kami, I, 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 I consider my team na sobrang innovative, pero when we gave out uh, awards no, and recognitions, no, uh, grabe yung uh, mga naisip din mga divisions. Okay? Nabangit nga ni Sir kanina, nakatatawa ko nung binanggit niya yung mabango. No? Na 99%, napakataas ang rating sabi ng Office of the Cabinet Secretary at that time. Bakit? kasi meron silang young living na tarangong ginagasos sa nila. Tapos ibang office, ano, walang pabango. So, uh, the thing is, parang, uh, bakit ang taas nila? Sir, kasi, ang linis, pero ang bango talaga ng, ano, ng Office of the Cabinet Secretary. So, the thing is, those are things na hindi naman namin nandate, pero sa kanila, um, since we, the management supported us with, uh, with awards and uh, incentives, talagang, ano, uh, nag, uh, nag, nagpatalbugan nga ng ideas no in in, in 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 providing a very beautiful workplace and mabangong workplace na uh, number two, yung starting small no up to now although pa, pa, sana maabot pang arm ng 10 years pero mas maganda kasi talaga yung package sa bang Samoro pero for us we never saw within, within the first five years of implementing 5S na iabot siya sa provincial level maganda po na raise kanina yun eh sa amin o go, uh, of, ano muna Uh, regional offices po muna sa Cotabato for the first five years. Parang in the mindset, di pa yan kaya. Uh, and we, uh, na-affirm yun when we, uh, when we, uh, when we had DepEd, no? Nag-announce sila, if you, if you caught the statement of the Executive Secretary, five, may 5S na sa DepEd schools na ARMM. So, but when we, uh, when we, we soon found out na hindi rin siya na-sustain, no? So what they did, nag-clean up day lang sila. And upon, upon checking, eh, wala naman pinag-iba sa brigada skwela nila taon-taon na. So, wala, wala nag, nag, ano, nag-clean up lang sila, pero wala silang quality workplace standards. So, wala silang audit. So, walang sustainability. Malamang at that time, malinis yung, ang ARMM schools. Pero we don't know up to now. That's, that was about two years ago. So, we, we start small. And starting small also sa Office of the Regional Governor, we never audited the agencies. No? In 2015, 2014 binagsak, 2015, uh, 2014 binagsak sa amin, September ng DAP, tinuluan kami. 2015, pina, uh, the, the thing is, parang incubation period for us. At that incubation period is also an excuse for us to train. So kami sa, sa ORG, Office of the Regional Governor, matindi rin yung training namin on 5, uh, 5S, sharings namin, before and internal audits namin sa, sa amin lang within the divisions ng ARMM. Before we went out in 2016 to audit the agencies because it, it it's important starting small and by starting small ang keyword don is again na rin yun naman na kay uh, sir homer is have everybody involved 5s we made 5s very pervasive pati sa mga lives ng mga empleyado namin the we uh, during the events we lalo yung mga rank and file ang laking bagay na may magandang t-shirt na may butterfly na pdca promotion Malaking bagay na pag may 5S uh, ISO week or 5S week, may may libring photo booth that you get you get to uh, put out um, signs promoting 5S. Iuwi po nila yun. To the point na malam mga, sobrang tuwa nga isang cabinet, isang uh, boss namin, cabinet secretary. Pati family niya, dinadala niya during uh, photo booth sessions ng 5, uh, 5S promotions. Nakasama sa 5S week. So, 
um, we try to make it uh, aside from asking the offices to be uh, creative in coming up with uh, with uh, uh, with their own 5S initiatives kasi may award pag magandang initiative mo. Uh, at the same time, uh, we try to make it uh, relevant sa bawat empleyado. Um, maging security guard man, maging utility, lalo-lalo na sa utility. At ang management po, again, no, converge na, converge na po ideas. Management po namin talagang uh, for them, uh, 5S is a source of pride for us. No, Every time na may client na sabi, uy, maganda, Okay ito ah. The regional governor, kung makita nyo po yung table niya, pag pinuntahan niya, linapin niya table niya, may iniwanan ng executive assistant niya ng mga files on the table after the day. Pag sasabihin niya executive assistant niya, sabi niya, bakit may folder dyan? Diba? So, dapat naka, ano yan, uh, either napirmahan na niya or pag hindi niya napirmahan, ibalik muna sa office kung saan uh, or sa EA na nagpa-process. Kasi kung kung ready na yan for signature, agad-agad pinipirmahan din niya on, you know, on his own. So, yes, uh, three uh, three words again no management commitment we were so lucky with that um, we try to get into people's lives with 5s sorry for uh, for that term no uh, pervasiveness through um, uh, through gimmicks and promotional uh, ideas and number three ata yung starting small wag po agad agad kasi uh, control your own muna no uh, have established 5s well within your individual workspace, kung kayo ang 5S focus sa inyo, and then go out to your uh, seat mates, to your division, to the bigger office, before uh, uh, before you can dream for more. Pero ano, uh, pwede nyo naman yan eh. Uh, kaya nagmamatter din sa aming consultation, kaya ba natin to? Uh, before we, uh, hindi pa namin na ipapasa ngayon yung quality workplace standards for all agencies, parang uniform yun, may kanya-kanyang quality workplace standards sila. Wala pa po kaming quality workplace standards na uniform sa lahat na doon namin sila i-audit. Nahirapan kasi kami mag-audit ngayon kasi babasahin pa namin yung QWS nila eh. Tapos i-audit namin sila based sa QWS. Nagiging parang QMS auditor kami. Parang naging ISO auditor kami. We wanted sana na meron kaming quality workplace standards na everybody will be uh, ano, uh, will be included at i to. So, nasa part pa rin kami ng consultations ngayon. Like, questions like kaya po ba natin mag-CCTV sa lahat ng office kasi na may safety component na po tayo? No? Ganun bagay. So, iba magreklamo, sir, wala talaga kasi uh, di, wala, hindi yata kaya i, i, ipunduhan pa. Baka pwedeng tanggalin mo na. So, or, na doon pa lang po kayo, wala pa kami. Uh, maganda man tingnan yung presentation namin, yung presentation man kung nagusto nyo. But, pero may mga challenges po kami talaga up, up until now. But we we take pride in the small things. Kasi one thing, uh, and this will be the last thing about Fives na mababanggit ko. You know, yung pag nag Fives train kayo, tinatawag na tangibles. Tangibles are good kasi nakikita siya. And then, pwede na siya ipagmayabang agad. No? And dahil pwede yung pagmayabang, pwede yung source of pride nyo. So, try to uh, try to use those types of uh, features ng Fives na mas mapapadali or mag magsustain ng Fives implementative sa agencies nyo. Uh, thank you. Uh, I just have one thing to say. If you want to start small, uh, I, I would recommend you get an SO, a special order, so declaring your area to be a pilot line so that you'll have results. Okay? Uh, starting 5S on your own without management support, without an SO, can be disastrous. So, officially, you are the pilot line, you get an SO, and then you start. So people can look at you and makita when this year progress. Anyan. May ingit sila. <laughs> okay, so yun lang. Thank you for the responses, dear speakers. Um, would there be uh, other questions or comments from the audience? We can entertain two to three more questions before the open forum ends. Wala na po. <laughs> If there's none, there could always wait to approach our speakers even bef uh, after the end of this session. So, po. Sige po, sir. Please come forward po, uh, state your name and your organization before your question. I'm Jess Reclinatus from the House of Representatives. Meron lang po, 
sa inyo po, sir, no, with regards to 5S, uh, uh, pwede po bang para ma-implement ang 5S, every government institution uh, magkaroon ng parang a matter of, yung sabi ni sir na may reward, may ano, uh, incentive kung sino yung tindak, uh, na nakapag, ano ng ano, 5S sa office, mm -hmm. yung implementation. Sir, uh, actually, yung, yung pong recognition, recognition is already part of our 5S Good Housekeeping Program uh, at the national level. So that is what we will be doing in line with this uh, um, institutionalizing 5S in the public sector. Uh, but at the agency level, so it will be up to the agency to come up with their recognition yes. scheme to incentivize and uh, also this is a very good way to sustain the participation of people in 5S. Thank you, ma'am. Cool. All right, another from ma'am. Please come forward. Um, Mary Grace Mihiliano from Field Health Regional Office 4A. Okay. Um, actually, um, uh, ini-implement na po namin ang 5S sa aming office since nung nag, uh, kami ay nag-apply um, for the reaccreditation ng ISO. Yan. So, actually, sa, sa amin, sa, ako po kasi naka-assign sa SPC, uh, Local Health Insurance Office, and I'm the chairperson po ng 5S. So, yun po, um, sa amin po, uh, in-employ in namin yung drug tagging uh, daily uh, as, a, as a form of monitoring. So, ang ginawa po namin para masustain yung cleanliness, yung, organ, yung pagiging organized, nagkaroon kami ng, uh, ito na may consensus agreement na kapag kami violation, magbabayad sila ng 20 pesos. And that 20 pesos, napupunta yun sa pondo ng opisina pandagdag din po doon sa kaayusan ng opisina. And uh, afterwards, at the end of the year, meron kaming status nung 5S implementation and nakasite doon yung pinaka maraming violations. <laughs> and then, <laughs> nitong year na to, ang ginawa naman ng aming unit head, uh, ng aming uh, Leo head is isinama na siya doon sa ano, ng non-conformity. Kasi part po yun ng ano, sa ISO na kung sino yung, yung, yung merong pinakamaraming violations, gagawa siya ng parang um, uh, incident, uh, something, incident report or something, ganyan. Para lang talagang masustain, masustain namin within our office. So, actually, sa buong PhilHealth talaga, ini-employ po talaga ang 5S because of the QMS dahil nga, nakaano siya sa ISO. So, kami po ay accredited na ulit for uh, ISO 9001-2015. Thank you po. Okay, so thank you. Thank Good you, to hear that. Uh, so 5S is well deployed at uh, field health offices. No? And uh, well, since you are already practicing it, uh, we would like also to encourage you to participate in the phase three of the 5S no, program. So for you to showcase your best practices on 5S. In that way, you also learn from other public sector organizations on how well they have applied 5S and in turn, you can make improvements. No? Uh, <coughs> thank you very much. Actually, it's a, it's a basic idea in 5S implementation. That when we when you do uh, when you apply fees uh, para sa violation, all of this should be ano, uh, in agreement with the employees. Ano, uh, concerned? No? I just want to reiterate that no? you don't impose it from the top. Na ano no? So once uh, a five s yung uh, impulsing and it's imposed from the top, it could be disastrous when the when the director or the the head of the agency uh, retires or is removed. No then the whole is 5S stops, okay? So it should be, uh, no, no, uh, with the participation of everyone, yung define, um, defining the, 
the fees and the standards. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, one more question. Would there be another question from the audience? Okay, if there's none, uh, we are concluding now the session for Open Forum. Thank you for all those who expressed their insights and comments.